Good evening, sir. I am Nandraj, a second year student at NIT Jamshedpur. So my question is, what is your views on financial literacy of current generation? Like, should financial awareness be added in our college curriculums? Your generation is much more financially literate than any of the previous ones. It's just that uh, more than uh, finance, it is about uh, values. Hmm? You want to buy something mm -hmm. and there can be three ways, let's say, to finance the purchase. Hmm? It's one thing to know which way is the best. And it's an altogether different thing to know whether the thing is worth buying at all. That's where your generation falters. You know a bit of finance, you do. But you don't know the value of anything. To you, finance is about knowing the price and managing the price. While life is about realizing the value. And price and value rarely go together. You have all the eyes for price. You don't have much of an appreciation of value. So the result is that you make very, very solid financial decisions about buying or selling, rather buying, worthless crap. Great and very, very smart way of buying crap. The fellow has cracked a great deal. in which he could manage to buy crap. The deal is wonderful, but what you have brought home is crap. The fellow has access to an online tool and that is telling him how much must he save every month and how much must he deposit from his quarterly bonus so that at the age of 50 he has a corpus worth retiring but he does not know what to do really till the age of 50 or after the age of 50 he does not know what retirement means because he never knew what work means and if work really is work will it ever allow you to retire that fellow does not know that but what he knows quite smartly is that if you put this much here this is how mutual funds operate this is how international markets operate and I can also do some intraday trading on the uh, stock exchange and if I do all this quite smartly then I will be able to save this much what will you do by saving that much yes of course you will manage saving all that what will you do with that that is a question that has never been answered. Hmm? And that is the most fundamental question. Without answering that question, all other questions and answers are purely worthless. One fellow, one, 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 you know, one of these, uh, what do you call them? Uh, the ones who drive opinions on social media? Um, influencers. One of these financial influencers, a very biggie, a big one really. He was asked, 
what do you think must be the direction of life for a young person he says you know i do not think so much all i want is that all should manage to achieve their targets what an answer he says everybody succeeds in achieving his targets the nation and the society will anyway move in the right direction and there will be growth but in absence of a value system you will never realize what to pick as your target hmm? and that's everything what to devote your life to what else is life for life is is not something you can just sit and eat from life is like this body it needs to work if it doesn't work what happens to it when great way to kill you is by confining you in a room full of luxuries and saying you will be given the best food to eat and no work to do and all the time to sleep and entertain yourself within 4 or 6 months you will drop dead that tells you something about life life in some sense is like a machine it exists for the sake of an output what kind of output that's for your discretion to decide life is like a car it can't keep standing at one place you can't say you know beautiful thing let it stand here let me polish it service it let it stand here we are we are supposed to work toil exert yourself we are supposed to exert ourselves so much that we finish ourselves off in the endeavor i know this is not probably the answer you wanted you were emphasizing on financial literacy but there is already more financial literacy that i see among you chaps than i saw among uh, my batchmates or in myself so i don't think that's a big concern you you fellows are already much more money minded without knowing what money means and without knowing what to do with that money not that we were any better not that we necessarily knew but because you are smart chaps so our expectations from you are higher <laughs> we are comparatively dumb obviously and see where you are getting your financial literacy from and it's not just literacy that you are getting from here and there you are actually getting your financial objectives from the places that should give you just knowledge instead of knowledge they are giving you objectives so on youtube you have thumbnails where this so called financial advisor is portraying himself displaying cash like cards so he's standing with you know rupees and dollars those notes and bills in his hands and that's a you are supposed to listen to him in fact were we a society with any sense that thumbnail should have sufficed to kill that video what kind of person that would be who can put himself on a thumbnail holding dollars in his hand what are you a moongfali vendor or what and then you you buy your literacy from there 
instead of making you literate he just makes you greedy value understand life see what is it that you must go after finance is really not so complicated hmm? you unless you are are you know, working in the financial markets or something you don't need financial education beyond a point what fails you is not financial illiteracy hmm? but lack of value education what you call as finance is mostly just arith arithmetic right so so it's not something that uh, is extremely complex so much is coming from here so much is going there of course it can get complicated when you get into derivatives trading and stuff of that kind but not many people anyway get there in ordinary life what brings you down is your is your greed is your uh, ignorance towards life itself then what is the difference between financial literacy and the values that you were talking about what's the difference you want to buy a car hmm and you already have a car you want to sell it now it's one of the classical problems in in uh, finance management should you sell this one off should you buy a new one or should you simply lease a new one and you develop scenarios and in those scenarios you try to see which one is the best and what is the criteria for an option being the best it should give you the maximum positive financial return right so that's how finance operates that's how finance operates value education is when you try to see whether you really need a car or what is it within you that needs a car where did the basic urge to dispose of your existing one and buy a new one came from and 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 uh, financial management does not go into that it might turn out that you want a new car just because your brother in law has bought a new one that's value education to understand who you are and why exactly are you valuing a certain object once you have seen that an object is really valuable after that comes the role of financial management but you cannot have a good financial sense without any sense of values hmm it might be for example financially better to buy something from the us rather than india value inquiry is about asking does that thing have value enough to be bought what really is the value in that why must i go for it and if i have to go for it then i will definitely but do i need to and if i feel very strongly about pursuing that object or that good or that goal where did my desire come from i never always had this desire surely it sprang up some day from somewhere what caused it that's value literacy more than financial literacy we need to be value literate 
otherwise you can be financially very smart and yet a huge idiot huge idiot remember that the two big financial crisis that we have faced in this century were both caused by top end finance professionals very very smart people and they caused the economies of the entire world to sink because they didn't have values they didn't know what is valuable so their smarts were of no avail